Hello, it's Anne here from Domesticity. How are you today? I want to welcome you to the first week of the Great Domesticity Bake Off. And what I thought would be a fun thing to do would be to um, suggest a recipe for the week that we all got to cook, and you can post the results in the Shop Smart Eat Well Facebook group that I, I run. And there's no judging going on. Um, you get to submit your finished product and at the end of the week on my Friday night live at 8 p.m. on Friday night I'll get to draw a winner out of the hat and they'll get a small prize. I still haven't decided on the prize but there'll be a small prize for one lucky winner. But it's just a great way to um, I guess bake things or make create food that is based on um, ingredients that you find around the home. You don't have to buy any special ingredients. These are just basic recipes that you can substitute ingredients for. And I figured that um, if you like to bake or you would like to learn how to bake, this would be a great opportunity for you to join in as well. So um, I have had a little problem with my um, recording this morning already. So I've only just realized halfway through the recipe. So I'll just turn the camera the um, yeah, the camera down to show you what I've done so far and um, have a look. So in here I've got um, a cup of oats, which are just rolled oats, not the um, instant oats, but they'd probably work okay. A cup of plain flour, three quarter cup of coconut, three quarter cup of sugar, and mixed all them together, mixed all the dry ingredients together. Then I melted 140 grams of butter, three um, teaspoons of golden syrup, three tablespoons of boiling water that's just boiled from the jug, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Mixed all that and then combined it um, in this bowl. So um, what we're making today is Anzac biscuits, if I, um, if I forgot to mention that. And Anzac biscuits are one of those um, Aussie classics that we've all had um, for a very long time as children. They were actually created back in World War I days because um, the women here at home made them to send overseas to their family members who were involved in the, in the war. Anzac actually stands for Australia and Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. And they were just a great recipe to, to make because they're a really nice biscuit or cookie and they um, traveled really well so they kept really well and I grew up having um, Anzac biscuits in our Bicky tin all the time it's what we all learnt to make as a child and um, they're just a really really easy recipe so very similar I guess to an oatmeal cookie so I will share the link to my recipe but I've um, mixed it all up uh, it's ready to go I've got my baking tray here um, lined with baking paper baking parchment I use um, an ice cream scoop. I find that they're all um, uniform size cookies then. And this is the small one. This is a great um, size for mini muffins, making meatballs, all sorts of things. So um, I do sell them in my shop, but this size and a larger size. So you wanted to check that out. So it's just a matter of grabbing the mixture, dropping it on the tray. They will spread. So just be mindful of that, not to put them too close. I've got my oven preheated to 170 degrees Celsius, which is prob is a moderate up oven, um, so it's probably about um, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. With only being able to put eight on a tray at once, you're probably going to have to um, make a few trays of them. So I'll just tidy them up a little bit. And they're now ready to go um, into the oven, uh, probably for 
um, I think you've got to watch them because of the syrup in them, but um, we'll try for 10 minutes and um, come back and see how, um, how these turn out. So I'll be back in a minute. So there you have it. Um, that took probably about 12 minutes in my oven on 170 degrees Celsius. They're still quite warm and they're very soft when they come out, but they will crisp up on cooling. Um, a really delicious golden um, crunchy biscuit, with, good with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. And if you'd like to participate, in um, this great Domesplicity uh, Bake Off. By all means, join us over at the uh, Shop Smart Eat Well Facebook group. I'll include a link. The link is also in my bio. We'd love to have you join us. It's not all going to be sweet treats every week. There'll probably be a savoury recipe um, or a meal or a savoury treat or some healthy treats, but it'll be basic recipes that anyone can cook using basic ingredients and if you don't have the ingredients it's a good challenge for you to um, use some sub substitutes and still make some really good um, recipes for your family. So I hope to um, see you in the group or stay tuned for next Monday when I bring you another recipe. Bye for now.